But the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, NCF, has reiterated its commitment to environmental conservation and sustainability. At the foundation's 5th annual general meeting in Lagos, the president of the board of trustees, Izoma Philip Asildu, urged the National Executive Council NEC to work towards establishing NCF offices in all states of the Federation. Asildu noted that a stronger NCF presence at the sub-national level would promote grassroots advocacy for nature conservation and sustainability. Sustainability. He emphasized that solving environmental problems requires robust action and response at both local and global levels as conservation issues transcend borders. The BOT president also reported that the NCF's flagship Green Recovery Nigeria GRN program had successfully planted 285,000 trees in the past year. The GRN seeks to increase Nigeria's forest cover from the current 7% to 25%. By 2047. We got the endangered species act passed, trying to prevent Nigerians you know, destroying the habitats of animals. And um, with the Duke of Edinburgh, we commissioned the project to protect. Gorillas, which were being attacked and consumed by the villages here. The African gorilla. It's only between Cameroon and Nigeria that they are left. Also speaking, the chairman, NEC of NCF, Justice Bukwola Adibi, said that the efforts of the foundation in protecting endangered species showed promising results in the year under review, that is 2023. Adibi said that beyond the amazing feat achieved by the foundation in 2023, NCF continues to face threats from illegal logging, poaching and climate change. In his report, the Director General of the NCF, Dr. Joseph Onoja, said that the 2023 marked the Foundation's third year of the implementation of its Strategic Action Plan, SAP 2021 to 2025. Despite the challenges posed by global economic downturn, we have remained steadfast in our mission to preserve Nigeria's rich biodiversity and promote sustainable development. The year under review has been marked by significant milestones and achievements that have further solidified our position as a leading conservation organization in Nigeria. Allow me to highlight a few. I won't read through everything because it's in the annual report. Uh, habitat restoration. Through our various reforestation and habitat restoration projects under our flagship program, the Green Recovery Nigeria, GRN. As stated earlier by the president, we have successfully planted 285,000 trees, which is like a dot and a drop in the ocean. And we have a lot more to do, and we have to do it collectively. In terms of our research and monitoring, we have strengthened our research and monitoring programs, utilizing advanced technologies such as drone surveillance and camera traps to gather critical data on wildlife population and their habitats. The foundation's M&E unit was strengthened in the year under review through capacity building and continued engagement with the M&E consultants to make our activities data-driven to make it very um, strong. We had community engagement and education, and uh, community engagement and education, and also community-based conservation, where we partner with the German government through our German partners, the Bedlab German partner called NABU where we're able to get some funding to work with some communities in Cross River State as we continue with our work, community-based conservation. In terms of policy and advocacy, we continue to engage government at different levels, both at the national and the sub-national level with different states. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.